Oh, watch out. This game contains explicit violence and gore. If, if you're under the age of this, do not watch this video. Oh, or I don't care. Actually, I really don't care at all. You can just keep watching this video. <laughs> Oh man, we're, we're here finally. Uh, hello everyone, hey. Uh, this is John GWC. I, I, I'm gonna finally play Dead Rising Chop Till You Drop. This has been a game I have talked about for a long, long time. When I did my Dead Rising playthrough eons ago, I talked about this game in detail. So something I need to uh, mention is that uh, if you've ever seen the Wii version of this game, it is hilarious. It really ruins Dead Rising and like the charm of the game and all the things that make Dead Rising Dead Rising. It, it is a bad port. Like, I don't know. Like, that, that Wii version is really odd. Like the Wii version sucks. I'm going to get back to that later on. I have way more to say about that version. And over the years, I've had a lot of different kind of conflicting thoughts about this game. So... You know what? I have a lot of things to say. I just want to give the game a try. I'm going to try and be fair. I'm a very big Dead Rising fan, especially of the first game. So I'm going to try and go with an open mind. But we, we will see. We will see. Well, they really had to compress this down to fit on the Wii. Like, I wouldn't say it looks bad, but you can definitely tell there, there's some crust underneath. Say, hey, buddy! You mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Gotta, Gotta tip something big's happening. Here she is, <laughs> Willamette, Colorado, population 53,594, distinguishing characteristics, jack shit. <laughs> but the only thing you could do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. And like I've said previously before in other Dead Rising videos, I, I have played this game to a disturbing degree. I I know almost every piece of dialogue, the timing of said dialogue, the time of like when survivors drop, like what time the cases are gonna come in, all the scoops. I, I was the dead rising guy in middle school where it's like, man, this game is impossible. It's like, really? It's actually fairly easy. So, so yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I guess I just skipped that. I guess you don't get to take photos. You know, that actually would have been pretty nice. You could take photos. You could use the Wii remote. And use the, take the photos. You could zoom in like a camera. Uh, I, I guess not. Okay. I think that's kind of whack. All right, listen. Don't forget to come back for me. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's, it's Frank. Frank, Frank West. West. <laughs> okay, so here's my dumb theory. So, the one thing that everyone always cracks about in this first game with, with Dead Rising is that Frank West has the weirdest walk cycle. And my theory is that when he jumps out of the plane there, he lands on his leg, pretty much injuring it, which to me explains away that weird walk he has. Because sometimes his leg will kind of give out and do this like weird like limp walk. That that is my theory. I, I don't know if it's true or not. It could just be me just looking into it way too much, but that's the one that makes the most sense. Something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if everyone's already dead. What? So why don't you just tell me already? No. What's going on? You are done. Oh man, that was awful what I just said. I'm gonna cut that out of the video. So listen, you do not get to hear my Gus Fring impression. So just leave it at that and that's all the context you're getting.
All right, we're in the game. There I go. It's me, Frank West. Wait, why are they playing the mall music up here? Okay, that's a bit, that's a bit strange. Man, why, why are they playing music right now? Already, there's certain subtle things that I'm already getting like, eh. You were gonna say they're nitpicks. It's like, nah. I, there, there's kind of reasons behind certain things. Like, I liked in the original version of the game that when you first get here, there's nothing. It's quiet. And the mall music doesn't hit till you actually get in the mall, like when you're just let to go about like your own. Can't believe he was watching that on the screen. Damn, who put that on? And you're probably also looking as if you've only seen the like 360 version of this game. Why is it so like kind of zoomed in and like that? So here's what they did with this game. When it came for Capcom to put this game on the Wii, they used the Resident Evil 4 engine that they had built for the Wii version. And they built this game off of that. So a lot of characteristics of RE4 from the Wii version made its way onto this, which once I get into gameplay, you're gonna see. Even at the time, I remember my thing was, okay, I love Dead Rising, it's great on other consoles, but is it gonna get nerfed bad because it's on a weaker console? Like the big selling point of this game was that there were hundreds of zombies on screen. It's like, it was the scale of it, how massive it was. So then it's like, all right, is the Wii going to be able to handle that? And obviously, of course, it, it's not as powerful as the 360, so it, it's going to be set back. This is no time to I forgot how limited it is, so I want to see in a bit. After this dude with the Popeyes. What? Wait, where are all the people at? There's usually like more people here. Okay, there's that guy. Wait, is he talking to someone? Uh, who are you looking at? Uh, okay. Cause usually there's a guy right here with like the shotgun. Maybe they moved him somewhere else. Okay, there's the baseball bat guy, but there's a, there's a shotgun guy. Huh? You! you. Stop, Stop right there! there. Do, Do you have, have any idea what you've done? done? Why, Why did you, did you summon, summon me to this place? place? What, what are, are you planning? planning? Would you, you calm, calm down? down? I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about. about. No! What in the hell what are, are you people doing? doing? Run! Quick! Move! Get Go here! here. <laughs> I love Everyone, the way he says move that. This way. Quick! To the stairs! Alright, Ving Rames, I'm coming. Okay. Firing weapons when you hold the firing wep. Okay. Wait! How do I have a gun already? H how do I have a gun? Frank's supposed to get the gun in, in a few. Boy, they really nerfed the zombies. This part was crazy on 360. Look at this space. I can, shit, I can just be zooming, but I'm just walking. Just, so you couldn't do this in the 360 version. If you tried, you, you would be dead at this point. This is my biggest thing when it came to, to the Wii. It's like, man, I just don't want the zombie stuff to get nerfed. That was the best part about it. Was that the scale. Like, look when it's going to look show back in the cutscene. See, look. Intense, where there's hundreds of them, so you're surrounded. You have to fight your way out. It's like, I'm happy more people played the game, but I just wish it wasn't in, like, a lesser experience. That was always my thing with it. It's like, I'm fine with the graphical cutbacks. That, that's, that, that happens. Like, if the graphics have to get cut down for it to, like, be there, it's like, I'm fine. It's just when the gameplay gets affected, too. This was that last era, like, when ports of games would differ on console to console. Where the, the version you get on 360 is, like, entirely different from the one you get on PS2. And, and, and same on. Nowadays, this isn't really a thing. This, now the consoles are, are equal in a way where you, you don't really have that. 
What for? Now there are interesting cases with that. Like there, there actually are some interesting things because of that, where you have to actually do limitations in terms of the versions, where you get kind of like weird mismatches, where either it's the same game but like structured nice differently, camera. or they go in a whole different a direction. As a matter of fact, I am. As a matter of fact, I will skip this cutscene. Damn, this must have been broken during the commotion. F Frank was carrying this whole time? <laughs> I didn't realize he was packing. Broken blacktailed. D what? <laughs> this, this is really just like throwing me off. It's throwing me off super hard being like, wait. My gun broke in the commotion. How? You looked pretty good running up the stairs. Also, how do you break a handgun like that? It looked like it was like in pieces. If the gun was broken to that degree, it should have been broken the second he like shot it. Survivors in the mall, could you go get them? Oh yeah, and I forgot, they, they changed a lot of the structuring of the game. So a lot of like the survivor quests and so on are now structured as missions rather than something you just will do in the main game. And from talking to a friend, apparently you can't miss them. Like you actually have to do it. Wait, why is the music so intense? I'm just on the rooftop. This is, this is like the, the music that plays when like you're about to go like take on Carlito and like the bomb's gonna go off. Okay, I can still spam that. This is where you take the photo. Dang, it takes a long time to level up in this. At this point, if you did everything right, you should be like level three. Because you get the PP from joining. If you take the photo of them like when they're hugging, you you get a lot. Like that you pretty much level up from that. Like realistically at this point, if I don't level up after this mission, then it's like they really nerfed how long you level up. You got shotgun? Money? Oh god, I forgot about that. I forgot that you actually have to get money in this game to buy ammo. Oh, I forgot. This is a, a bit of a trip. Around the toy store in Paradise Plaza, someone's trapped in there. Do you mind looking? Wait, is this... Twin sisters? This shouldn't even be happening until... That's day two. They don't show up till the morning of day two. Boy, they're just switching everything around. Like, I thought I was gonna just go straight into like the first case. I guess not. Shouldn't be using the mall music here. S save it for like a few seconds. See, this is where the mall music should have started. Can you have them like stay? Can you? I I guess not. It kind of sucks. That was the. It actually makes the game a little harder now, because the AI in this game is not good. I love I love the, the original game, but I will I will still admit it has its flaws because the AI can be booty at times. Like they they will just walk into zombies. They won't listen. They'll get stuck on the wall. God, I forgot they barricaded off certain sections for like no reason. I don't, I don't get it. I just want to go up and get my orange juice. Man. The impact is just gone. But yeah, like the hit doesn't feel right. Like when you hit them in the original game with a baseball bat, you could feel the impact. Like. It, it was like a hit. Can I not get around here? I, I have to go all the way around? B bro, why is it so... Why is it set up like this? I can understand, like... Them having to, like... Cut... 
like the zombie count that's fine what i don't get is like them putting these barricades up like what what does it do to like put a barricade that makes me have to go like a hundred miles around just to get to an area like it kind of pads the game for no reason okay i just realized i'm still not level two <laughs> taking me years to level up man watching you out there really gave me a rush that was incredible frank protein money that should be pointless there's a zombie attack going on do i really need to worry about money well friend look you rescued everyone he's rescuing for the moment you should take a break you look tired he's rescuing for the moment you mean there's other people out there still in need of help why don't i go help him now like well, they'll they'll last for a while. No, I want to go save like eight people at the same time and bring them all back. And dang, I still didn't level up from that. It, it's kind of wild. They they made leveling up so hard in this. Let me see if I can take this side path real quick. The rooftop. Um, oh, give me a break. Zombies, Zombies huh? Had a feeling you'd show up. You know how to use this? Kinda. Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank West said the line! And so did I. And he also came into the mall with a gun. Loaded. So, he knows how to use a gun. I still can't get over that. Frank was packing heat in the mall. Already, it's like you guys realize that the the fun of the game is that you're in a mall with zombies and you're using the most impractical weapons. All right, I'm gonna start fighting a hundred zombies with like a garden hoe or a rake or a trash can. Yeah, you can use guns, and it is in the game, and I use guns too. But the fun is using the goofy stuff, and it is still in here, but. This game has such an over-reliance on the guns because it runs off that Resident Evil 4 port. That to me is where I, I kind of am like really iffy with this version just because it, it really bases stuff off that so heavy that like the original flair of Dead Rising gets lost in the mix. Oh, I forgot they barricaded that off. Well, can I still use the skateboard at least? Can I still skateboard? Okay, at least you can still skateboard. At least they gave me that. Oh, you can't even go over. Oh. Man, there's so much stuff in this port that's just so questionable. Like, why is everything, like, sectioned off? Wait, did, did they actually lock the. They locked Movie Land. You can't even go over here yet. They probably don't even unlock it until you go there for the cult leader. Which, that's not until the end of, like, night two. That's a, that's a hot minute away. So you can't even get the fake Mega Man Buster or, like, the Mega Man stuff. Oh, yeah, and they added new enemies for this version. They added the dog and birds. So let's see what Leisure Park... Which, boy, Leisure Park got nerfed. Bad. Boy, look how nerfed it got. The the walk from here is extremely small. Like obviously I know and I'm not expecting the Wii to handle the big area that was in the original, but it's like I've seen a lot of Wii games with big areas. Like Twilight Princess has a lot of big grand areas you can go into. This feels so cramped, like it feels weird. It's like if somebody had to remake this mall, this section of the game from memory alone. Like they didn't Use the original as a base. He said, alright, I want to try and remake Leisure Park from just what I remember, and it's just smaller in scale. That face when you play Dead Rising Wii. Your uh, girlfriend sent me to find you. Who? Jesse? Alright, that's all I need to see in that cutscene. I don't need to see anything else. Just that line. Wait. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get up here. I'm gonna have to actually fight him, like, 
the, the regular way. We have to actually fight him from afar and shoot up. It's gonna be weird. I've not fought him this way since I probably first played the game back in like 2007 or so. Every other time since, I'll usually get up on this top part here and start fighting him. Shoot, where is he? Usually at this point, I'm getting blasted. What? He's just walking around? I thought he was going to be on the roof. What? What was that fight? He didn't even shoot at me. <laughs> was the AI broken? Did I get like a glitch? That doesn't seem like it should have happened. He, he legit missed all his shots, only went for bread. And now, because they had him on the ground floor, the cutscene doesn't make sense. Because now it's like, alright, we're fighting him on the floor. He somehow got up onto the tops of the building, then repelled up. Thanks for your help. The name's Brad. Yeah, yeah, we, we all know. We've all played the game a million times. Shoppers, hold on to Finally, on level yeah, two. That took to way too long. By doing things like escorting survivors and killing zombies, you acquire PP points. While leveling up item stock, sub weapon, sub weapon durability, book. Oh, you can't get speed? Shoot, I wish you could increase the speed. Like, I know his walking speed's much faster than this, but it's not the same as just having the quick step. Because, boy, Frank is zooming when he has quick step. Like, he starts getting some, like, supersonic shit going on. Frank, look, there's a propane tank over there. Try shooting with your gun. The blast should take care of the surrounding zombies real quick. Hello, <laughs> he's like, shoot the propane to take care of things, and he walks right into it. Dude, you almost could have died right now. And see, usually, with, oh my god, I. Okay, I can already tell I'm gonna hate fighting these dogs. These dogs are gonna suck to fight. Okay, he is still going. C can I still get the PP point from over here? Does this still work? Okay, thankfully this is still in the game. I would've been really sad if they got rid of this one. And, and I will give them this. They actually have a reflection in the game. And it, and it looks good. Very well done. See, the whole video is not me just crapping on the game. Because the reflection, they pulled off and it did look quite nice. So usually in like the main... I, I, I need to watch myself because I keep almost saying it like it's a whole separate game. Like in the main game, not like this side thing we're playing right now. Brad almost died. <laughs> this boy was almost dead. I barely made. I was. I was lollygagging. I was just in my own world. It's like, oh shoot, this isn't like the 360 version. But I continue. What I was saying, I I have to be mindful of my words. I'm kind of almost making it seem like, oh yeah, this game, and then the real game. But it's more that like, I'm talking in the original sense of like the game in its original state, and in this. Because they're, they're really two separate games, to be honest. Like, this is different enough that it's almost its own separate thing. Boy, Brad got back quick. All right, well, let's check out some, some stores here. All right, this, this is fine. Oh... Enough with the barricades. 
Like, it's not even a realistic thing, because Frank could easily walk over it. Why is he so, like, intent on... Hold on, I need to actually listen to the mall's rules. They put that barricade up for a reason. Let me not pass it, even though it's just red tape. No, I'm trying to close the door. I'm... I'm just... I'm trying to close the door. Good. This is where the samurai swords are at. And, and the one big elf in the room I do need to discuss because it's the biggest thing that people really love this version of the game. Like, m more than anything, one of the things that people really love is that they got rid of the time limit. Which, that is one of the biggest things when it comes to, to Dead Rising. People are either all in on the time or they're not. Some people said the biggest downfall of this game is the time, which for me, I never understood because that to me is the most important component of the game. Like, being that, hey, you are on the time limit, you have to use your time wisely. And they say, oh man, you're rushed the entire game. You, you really aren't, to be honest. Because the first day, the case one is spaced out, so you have a lot of stuff to do. You have a lot of time in the night. And even during case two and like those later days where it's like, you pretty much have a case back to back to back. You can still get everything done. It's a tight window, but it can be done. I know people say, well, I just want to go around and explore the mall or just do my own thing. You can, honestly, if you really want to, you can just not do any of the cases, go around the mall, do all like the side psychopath stuff. And if you go to the hair, the helipad on the end of the 72 hours, you'll get ending B, which pretty much is Frank gets out the mall, all the survivors get out the mall, but the scoop is never figured out. So you can play the game exactly like that. You still get an ending that's pretty good. And you don't have to worry about, oh, well, I'm on the time limit. It's the same thing with Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask gets the same hate, too, for the time. And I've never understood, understood why. But I also both love those games. Like, I love Dead Rising. I love Majora's Mask. So the time's never really been a factor in my end. I, like, that's what I love about the game, is the time. That it's always running. You have to be mindful of it. As you're going along, you'll get the case of, hey, at this time, someone's here. Someone's there. And just getting a feeling that, like, as time's going on, you can see them all getting worse in, like, kind of real time. But I don't know. That's always been my kind of thoughts and kind of perspective on the time for this game. Uh, you know, rant over. Let, let's let's get back to the game. Are we gonna run into the convicts right now? Well, maybe not. So usually around this time, they hit. If you get if you get outside of the food court around six o'clock or seven, they'll be here, and you you have their fight with them, which I've I've heard their fight in this is is quite goofy. That it's like a quick time event where you're like running away from them and then you don't really inherently fight them where they're like running around. It's like that, that was that was the best part. It kind of sucked that they kept regenerating. That was kind of goofy and stupid. But their fight was nice. And especially when that music hits, it's like you, you can't go wrong. No, I need to kill so I can read this sign. Only under construction. What construction? It, it's a built structure. It's a walkway that's done. They just put some boxes up and said it's under construction. It's like, I, I, I really just don't get it. And, and the thing is, I, I knew that coming into this, I was probably going to be very against it. Like I, Because I, I will always try and go in with an open mind, and I, I wanted to. But it's just because with this game, like, Dead Rising is something that I hold very, very special. It's one of, like, my all-time favorite video games. So, that original version to me is, like, it's the version. So, seeing this version here and how the weird kind of changes they made just throw me off completely. Because, I, I will say this, I think if I had played Dead Rising for the first time like this... I probably would have an entirely different outlook on it. 
where then when I go to the main game and it's like, oh, this is really cool. This is how the the, the the full game is. And then coming to this version and seeing what they do, it's like, okay, I can see what they tried to do here. I think the opposite's harder because you can play this version and see, like, okay, I see what they did here. It's as nice, it's fun. But then going to the 360 version and then seeing how that game is like, oh, wow, okay, this is like a really big souped up version of the game I played. But you can still appreciate what they did on the Wii. I think it's harder on on my end because I played the the 360 version for so long that coming to this version it feels really strange. So I I, I really don't know. If you got time, is this Adam the Clown or? Restaurant man. Oh, this guy. Yeah, you don't say this guy till. Shoot, day. Day two. It's like right before you go to like the Joe the Cop scoop. Like honestly, they're they're actually missing a few. Cause like right now, if they were going off of how like the game is, you would theoretically. There's the guy who's hidden inside of. Uh, not North Clock Town. Maybe he is on them. This dude, this dude's dipping. This guy's faster than Frank. Dude, slow down. I'll go up the stairs. You can take the shortcut. All right, good. Because you could take a shortcut. You could take a shortcut. What? Oh, I hate this guy. Th they ruined Ronald. This guy's a jerk. He's like, all right, I'm here to save you. There's zombies around. Hey, I want a well done steak. Huh? I need a well done steak or I'm not going. It's like, all right, peace. I'm going to leave you right now. It's like, we got to pad these survivor quests because you don't want them to do the same thing all the time. Oh, yeah, a well done steak just chilling here, just sitting up. I'm sure this is gonna taste great. I almost should eat it for myself. Oh, now Ronald joined. Boy, that was really annoying. It's just like, hey, just so you know, I'm hungry. I'm not leaving until you do this. It's like, boy, your life is on the line. You're, you're really risking your life for a well done steak that's been sitting out. And I forgot this area is blocked off. There we go. Haven't had a workout like that in a while. Say, where do you keep the food around here? Boy, you have the gall to say that after I almost died getting you a steak. You've eaten enough. You had an apple. You had a full ass T-bone steak. And you're still like, hey, where's the food? Well, I should have left you for dead. Man, watching you out there get that steak gave me a rush. That was incredible the way you picked it up off that table. Take a break. You look tired. Stop saying, like, yeah, those other people who are in danger. L let them stay in the mall. They're good for now. They can last. Also, boy, you really level up slow. Like, I'm, I'm barely level four right now. In the original game, I probably would have been, if I started level 1, I might have been like level 8 or 12 at this point. Oh boy, here here we go. If we can get Cletus to help us and we'll be able to buy weapons, that would be good for you too. Buy weapons? Buy weapons. Th there is a zombie outbreak in the mall. And this dude has the the gall to be like, we gotta buy weapons from this guy. What's he gonna do with the money? 
the world is over. This is the thing that bothered me and I still bring up about this Wii version that is so ridiculous. It's like we gotta factor in the merchant from RE4, how do we do that? Well, let's get Cletus from the gun stop and bring him into the equation when it's like, hey, uh, it doesn't make sense. Like, why would we need money? It, it gives me a headache. But you know, we we got it. We gotta go take Cletus on. We we, we gotta go see what what the damage is. All right, we gotta get to North Clock Town now. Wait, no, the North Plaza, not North Clock Town. Wrong, wrong game. Same kind of concept. Wrong game. Boy, I'm tired. I just said North Clock Town. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, we gotta go take a Cletus on. You're in the North Plaza now, not North Clock Town. You should be able to persuade him to help us. Why does he want to help us? No, he. Oh my god, I forgot. Stupid barricades. Stupid bird. No one's not like birds. They sound like pterodactyls. They sound goofy. Hey, where'd that guy come from? Look, mister, if we're gonna fight these zombies, we need guns! Guns! Stay back! I trust them damn zombies about as far as I can throw them. But I trust people even less. Don't shoot! Look, let, let's talk this over. You can talk to my drill gauge! Don't get no closer! closer. I'll blow you out of the game of cop! Hey, hang on. You should be able to persuade him to help us. That was a load of shit. In a situation like this, I can't afford to trust nobody. All right, let's kill this guy. Then we'll have the gun shop for ourselves. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, shoot, he can get behind the counter in this version. See, in the 360 one, he, he just stays behind there. Like, I, I will give him that they're adding at least some variations to the, the psychopaths. All right. That was easy. Yay! Yay! Oh, uh, you gotta save him too. That, that's, oh, I'm out of ammunition. I, I guess I can't save him. Boy. Sucks to be you. Well, see you later. Nah, I can't continue the game until I save this dude. What is this? This is fan fiction. Did you save me? I actually have a favor to ask. You think you could help us out? We need the guns you have in your store. Ruling the pay! There's a zombie of. What's this guy doing with money? I better get the store ready for a bit. I. I oh, this. I, I'm at a loss for words. Seeing this actually in action, remember when someone told me about this? I, I, I was in disbelief. I don't have much in stock right now. Looks like you got a lot of stock. There's like rifles there, there's a bunch of different shotguns. Also, how are you gonna get more stock in? Sh shit, shit has gone down right now. Y you gotta buy ammo. Hey, a Frank, I got new stuff in. Th this really just grinds my gears. Ah, <laughs> uh, what was that? We got a cold shit. This dude like got COVID. <laughs> Come again now, you. 
Yeah, with a face only a mother could love. Yeah, this is this is the face of a man who's gonna charge you for ammo and guns during a zombie takeover of a mall and entire township. That face when you're making money, but you can't spend anything with it. Oh, boy, this really is annoying. Especially that it, in the original game, you, you can just come to the... Once, once Cletus is dead, you can come to the store anytime and the guns are available for you. You can come get like three shotguns, a bunch of pistols, rifles at any time after the fact. It's so egregious. It's, ah. This, you know, seems so unreal. You're telling me, Brad, time limit's gone. You got to spend money to get guns. Unreal. Let me guess, Adam the Clown Scoop? Yep. The Space Rider in Wonderland Plaza has gone out of control. Could you take a look, Frank? Well, frankly, I don't want to, but I guess I'm going to have to. All right, here we go. The fight that had everybody stuck for a while. All right, let's tear this dude up. Let's see if he's just as easy as he is in the original game. Wait a second, did they change his music? Yeah, let me heal just for safety, just in... I don't have any heals. Oh, okay. Well, I should be- I should, uh, keep my distance in. I've been saved in a bit. Okay, the serve bot head actually... ...makes us a challenge. Oh, okay, well, he's dead. <laughs> I was like, this is gonna be a challenge. And then, dead. <laughs> hey, I leveled up. And hey, look! The mini chainsaw. Alright, we done now. This game over. But like, you know, I will say, that there is there is something positive I do have to say about Chop Till You Drop. And, it's, and I can't believe I haven't brought it up just yet. The trailer for this, and it has like a little music video trailer before the game came out. The song in question for that rips. It's, it's probably the best thing about Chop Till You Drop. I don't know the band or what, but that song is so catchy. It's like, believe me, a after listening to it, you are going to have that refrain stuck in your head. You're, you're going to be at the park, you're going to be in bed, and in that little... Da-da rising, da 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 rising, da da That part, it's going to be in your head. And if I did my job right, it's going to be stuck in your head as well. So here's hoping. Otis, you're okay. Thank God. Hey, well, you know, I, I'm okay too. I, I, I made it back. All right. Oh, I, I guess he, he doesn't care. Oh. Mall employee uniform, which... It's kind of crazy the game gives you that just for doing this mission. To actually get that costume in the original game 
requires like one of the like the third hardest achievements and trophies in the game. But you have to answer all of Otis's calls throughout the game, which seems easy, but is actually surprisingly difficult. You know, let me see what this next one is. Oh, and this guy's here now too. Ain't you gonna help those people? Boy, what? I I'm taking this jacket off. I I do not want to support you after what this you just said. Aren't you gonna help those people? I've been. That's all I've been doing. That is all I have been doing. I I'm just gonna be my my original self, me at my best. Okay, but you know what? I think I'm gonna call right here. Yeah, you know, I played a good bit of the game. There, there's obviously a lot more of the game. I only got through the first case and a few of the missions, but I, I gotta feel the game. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that's changed as I get later into it. I'm, I'm sure other psychopaths are gonna change and certain of the side quests are gonna change too. But yeah, overall, my, my thoughts on Dead Rising Chop T Drop. I, I, I don't have the, the greatest opinion of it, I think, I think for those who who didn't play the original 360 release, this is fine. It's like a quirky port of the game. And you you get the vibe of the game, but there's so many other things that are so off because they had the limitations of the Wii and this how certain things are set up in the levels make things really annoying and kind of counter intuitive. So I don't know. It, it, it's a, it's a weird case. Like there's there's stuff in it. Well, I'm like, okay, that, that's not bad, or that, that's pretty good. Then there's other stuff that just kind of just, I don't know, it, it doesn't really work for me. Maybe it's a game at some point, like, I'll I'll come to enjoy or find some, like, real good things in it. But for least right now, uh, it, it's not for me. That, that's all I'll say. Th this game is not for me. So, you know, if you, if you like this game out there, cool. Keep going at it. You know, Dead Rising is a great series. But, but for me, this this particular version of the game just doesn't do much in that sense. So, you know, that, that's going to be it for me here. Thank you very much for watching, sticking around. Um, as always, I'm John GWC, and I hope to see you later in the future. Peace.